everyone, me again. Welcome back to X Amelia X. And if you are new, hello to you too. My name is Amelia and we film all kinds of videos on this channel. Everything from beauty to curvy fashion to exciting travel and we throw some lifestyle vlogs in there as well. So if you like my face, if you enjoy this video, click the subscribe button and stick around for a while. Okay, we're going all out with a bumper video today because we've got three videos in one. We have a pamper routine, a beauty haul, and a get ready with me. I am spoiling everybody today. I know it's like Christmas and your birthday have come all at once. So I've joined forces with Holland and Barrett who invited me to their brand new store in the ball ring in Birmingham yesterday. And oh my goodness, it is a beauty lover's haven. So there's been a shake up at Holland and Barrett HQ and they have introduced over 800 new conscientious beauty lines to their range. They have officially stepped in to the beauty store game. So their store in the Boring has had a beautiful new makeover. You need to go and see it. Um, and they have got all these lovely sustainable beauty lines in there now. They've also got all the stuff that you would normally go into Holland and Barrett for, but they have got this huge beauty section with skincare, with pamper products, with hair care, and even makeup as well. So I went shopping yesterday in their Boring store and came out with this huge bag full of stuff, um, which I'm gonna show you now. Whole time, everyone. presenter for this video. <laughs> so Holland and Barrett's mission is all about beauty that doesn't cost the earth. So we're talking vegan products, we're talking organic products, waterless products, zero waste packaging, etc. Um, and I was really impressed by the amount of stuff that was in this store. There were so many brands, so many different products, um, even brands that I'd never even heard of before, but also some well-known ones as well, like Ren. Yeah, I just filled my basket <laughs> and got stuck right in. So I'm going to split this haul into two. We've got the pamper side, and we've also got the makeup side. Um, because I quite fancied a little pamper night last night, so I thought I'd fill my basket full of stuff that I can do a little pamper routine at home with. And then I was also really intrigued by some of the vegan and organic makeup that they've got, because it's not something that I've ever tried before. Um, so I thought I'd give that a go. But first, pamper night, and no pamper night is complete without a good cup of tea. Um, and now this is the kind of stuff that you'd normally find in Holland and Barrett. So there's still all of the supplements, essential oils, um, health food products, etc., that you normally find in there. But then there's also this huge beauty selection as well. So I picked up my trusty sleepy tea from Dr. Stewart's. Um, it's a valerian tea, so if you struggle with sleep, I find that this works wonders for me. Do not drink it during the day, because it's strong. Like, this stuff will relax you. This is the only one that I have found that really, really works. So I started by brewing myself a cup of my sleepy, relaxing tea. And then I ran a bath. Um, with these magnesium flakes that I found in store. Now there were loads and loads of bath salts in store, um, but I saw these magnesium spa flakes and these are meant to like soften and rebalance your skin and also the water that you're sitting in. So they kind of, you pop them in like you would do a normal bath salt and they almost sort of turn the water milky a little bit. You can see them dissolving. It was lovely. My skin felt amazing after I got out of the bath with this. Big fan, big, big fan. And all they've got in them is pure magnesium salt minerals um, and magnesium chloride, which is like, the magnesium flakes and that's it so they're like really really natural i also put in a few drops of the sweet dreams bath oil which oh my goodness it smells incredible it's got lavender sandalwood and jasmine 
smells just like a spa it's oh, it's heavenly absolutely heavenly and i only used a few drops in the bath and the whole bathroom smelt like a spa it was incredible i'm a big bath oil fan i really really love them um but yeah this is just all like pure essential oils in here so if you've got any sensitive bits you should be fine with this <laughs> makeup removal so i am really trying to get away from makeup wipes yes i do occasionally still use some biodegradable makeup wipes but emergencies only uh, so i picked up some of this dr organic manuka honey micellar water mic mic micellar what well, i can never say it that thing um and it's enriched with honey so obviously it's like really really good and nourishing for your skin you can use it on face eyes and lips apparently and i can confirm it does 100 percent remove makeup including waterproof mascara and also my eyeliner which is pretty tough to get off um, and i also picked up some reusable cotton buds because i've been meaning to get some of these for absolutely ages and i saw them on the shelf there they were i was like right no excuse uh, and they look like this they're very very good and yeah they were perfect they, they really did work so well with this and then i was able to just rinse mine under the tap and it pretty much got the majority of my makeup off with a little bit of soap but i you can just pop them back in the bag when they're all dirty and throw them in the washing machine and then they are reusable so you're not using loads of cotton pads um, as well which is really good so that's part of their zero waste beauty range and i'm a massive massive fan they also had some of the bamboo um earbuds as well alongside a load of zero waste feminine care products as well so if that is something that you've been thinking about moving into personally i don't get periods at the moment um, because of the pill that i'm on but if and when <laughs> i change that routine and start getting them again um, it's something that I want to really, really look into. Um, they've got all the moon cups and stuff. They've got the um, period underwear, all that jazz. Uh, so definitely go in and check them out. There's a whole section for it, which I thought was really, really good. Okay, so makeup off. I decided I wanted to do a face mask, which I cannot show you because I used last night. But it is this face mask here. It's one of the Korean beauty brands, I think, that was in there. There was loads of Korean beauty, which I was just mesmerized by because I've used quite a bit of that before and it's so, so good. Um, it was like this hydro gel mask and it felt really weird, but it comes in two parts and once it was on, it was on. And oh my goodness, my skin this morning feels so good after putting that on it re it just like absorbed straight into my face um and i really liked it it was on the pricier side so it's definitely one of those masks that you treat yourself when you're doing a little spa day at home um but yeah i've never used a hydro gel mask before and i think i'm a convert also happy to report that i slept like a baby last night after my little pamper routine loved it so this morning it was hair wash day and i picked up some dragon fruit shampoo and conditioner from the faith in nature range and oh my goodness this stuff <laughs> it smells so so good and it lathered up really nicely big fan big big fan um but the best thing is i hold them barrett they have refillable stations so you can buy the bottles to start off with here or you can buy one of their metal reusable bottles and start off in that um, and once you're done with it, you just bring it back into store and refill it. And it's actually cheaper. I think it's like £4 to... This was like £5.50, I think. But then if you take this bottle back in and refill it, it's £4. Um, and yeah, it's just... I think it's fantastic. I haven't actually seen any high street shops in the UK with those um, refillable stations. So I think that's absolutely absolutely fantastic and extra bonus the dragon fruit shampoo smells incredible and then i picked up some of their organic makeup stuff um which i tried out this morning so i'm going to insert my little get ready with me portion here uh so you can see my first impressions of trying out these little products so for those of you who already follow my channel hello uh, you'll know that i have not got the best skin in the world it never has been the best skin um it probably never will be i've just got uneven skin tone active breakouts acne scarring the lot um but it's definitely got a lot better as i have got older yeah i kind of just wanted to address that really and get something a little bit lighter in my beauty arsenal <laughs> and learn to be a bit more 
I don't know, not as heavy handed with my base because on a good skin day, my skin's not great, but I don't need like your Estee Lauder double wear all the time. So I picked these up from Holland and Barrett yesterday um, in their conscious beauty section. Now I'll be honest, I had no idea that Holland and Barrett did makeup. Um, but it's all vegan and like paraben free, um, organic makeup and they've got loads. They've got concealer, foundation, BB cream, um, eyeshadows, lipsticks, mascaras, everything. Uh, so I picked up these for my base. So I've got the Inca Organic uh, Concealer in light and then I also picked up the Bare Skin BB Cream in porcelain I think. Yeah it's basically the lightest one because I am nearly blue. <laughs> I'm that pale at the moment but I thought I'd give it a go. This has got aloe vera and rosehip oil um, and yeah gluten free, cruelty free, vegan, halal no nanoparticles no gm ingredients no petrochemicals no parabens and i think that a lot of people think with um i don't know with like organic or vegan beauty that it's not going to perform as well so i was really intrigued to try it out i've got clean hands don't worry oh wow <laughs> a little goes a long way with this what oh, smells nice it doesn't smell um artificial but it's got a nice fresh kind of smell to it. I'm just using my fingers with this instead of my brushes because I haven't cleaned my makeup brushes. Okay, this is gonna last me ages. I also never know if you're supposed to put on your concealer first or after. I think you're probably supposed to put it on after, but this was, it looked really light. Um, so yeah, I was concerned it might be a bit too light, but it's actually, the perfect colour. So that's why I put it on first, don't shout at me. So again, I think this is the lightest one. I'm putting on that much, I don't, is that too much? I don't know. See how far this goes. Again, I think this is a good match. It goes on really nicely. That is so nice. I feel like it's blurred out my pores. Um, it's definitely covered up like the different uh, shades in my skin because I sometimes get quite red cheeks but it hasn't completely like blanket covered my face which I also really like um, yeah it just looks quite dewy as well I think I might be a BB cream convert where have you been all my life I've also got a patch of dry skin here that my foundation always sticks to no matter if i've just put on a uh, moisturizer no matter what it'll always stick there and this hasn't which i'm very pleased about but it hasn't completely covered everything but obviously that's where you would go in with your concealer that i stupidly put on first Can you tell i'm not a professional with a bit of concealer over the bits that need more coverage i really like this How awesome are they? And I'm happy to report I've spent the day today um, with some nail clients. So I've been busy in a way, working away, and they have lasted. My skin is still looking amazing at the end of the day. So I must admit, I am a BB cream convert and I'm 100% going in and getting a darker shade. But when I go on holiday and I get a little bit of a tan because oh, I just... I love it, I love the formula, I love everything about it. And yeah, big, big fan. And also this concealer is awesome as well. Like a little goes a long way, definitely. So um, I would I would 100% buy this again, I really like it. And again, that has stayed put too. Love it. So yeah, thank you so much to Holland and Barrett for working with me on this one. This has been really fun and I've definitely opened my eyes and hopefully yours as well. Uh, leave me a comment if you have tried any vegan beauty products, if this has maybe made you think about trying out some new things. Uh, yeah, and as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!